Here's an aerial view of the fire in downtown Suffolk. The flames there sent two children and two firefighters to the hospital. Angelique Garantok picks up our team coverage. Everything was closed up with fire trucks. Fire trucks and police cars lined the area of Smith Street in the historic district of Suffolk on Wednesday. Fire Chief Michael Baraki believes a fire started in one of the four units in this apartment building. Because of the extensive uh, nature of that fire in that one unit, it went up, went into the attic space, and then migrated over to the other uh, apartments. So all four, all four apartments suffered smoke and fire damage. Crews arrived at approximately 1.30 in the afternoon. Baraki tells me first responders raced to pull one child out of the burning building. And Baraki says that child, along with another child who already made it outside, had to go to the hospital for possible smoke inhalation. I'm seeing the smoke since I've been sitting here. Neighbors like Dolores Hilton tell me they've never seen anything like this happen in the neighborhood. Temperatures in Suffolk stayed in the 80s all afternoon on Wednesday. By early evening, officials say two firefighters went to the hospital for what is believed to be heat exhaustion. You have an extensive amount of work, uh, multiple bottles. We call that when we put our air packs on and go inside repetitively. It just to be very exhausting, very physically demanding and all. So yes, yeah, so it'll work a firefighter down a little bit. And as we acclimate to the summer season, we'll get a little bit better at it with the acclimation. Baraki says fire marshals from Suffolk and neighboring cities are investigating how the fire started. In Suffolk, Angelique Aaron Talk, 13 News Now. Everyone living in that apartment building has been displaced. We don't know exactly how many families have been affected, but tonight the Red Cross has offered to help them out.